Welcome to Vespa UK. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a short video of how to replace rollers. Now we're going to explain you quickly what rollers are and what job do they do and why do you need to replace them. And then after we're going to show the whole process of how to replace them. Mind you, this video is only for Vespa GTS 300cc and not for 125, okay? So 300cc. We're going to show you what tools you need to have in order to do this job. Phillips screwdriver, flat screwdriver, 19mm socket and ratchet, quarter inch ratchet, an extension bar with torque fitting bits, 8mm socket, 10mm spanner, another flat blade screwdriver, long nose pliers and an impact wrench. We're gonna perform this work on this specific scooter. Uh, we have our mechanic here, you already met him. Mott. Okay, just explain me quickly, uh, Matt, what do rollers do? What's the purpose of these things? These are in the engine, in the variator. These are controlled by centrifugal forces from the clutch. They cause the variator to move out and the belt moves up, increasing the forward momentum. Right. They alter the belt position to increase your speed. Why can't we use the same rollers for one, two, five? Because they're a different, slightly different size. Seventeen ninety nine, apparently. But I'd like to you to find any Molossi parts for that price nowadays. First of all, you need to remove the side panel. How do you remove the side panel? Well, it is one screw here, and one ten mil, ten mil headed nut right underneath there underneath what holds the side panel on right, to the right. frame so here we go i'm gonna pull from the rear and then pull the panel out of the three rubber lugs make sure you don't snap your lugs off and there's two lugs there at the front what need to be you need to be careful to uh, not break those off just pull off held by three rubber bungers you have to undo the air filter. One. That's the second bolt there. Is it hard to reach? It's just because where they are. There's one. Are these bolts all the same length? Yes. Maybe we need to wiggle. Matt, wiggle. Wiggle. The air filter needs to move up in the air so you can get all the uh, transmission... Uh, the uh, very edge cover bolts off, you see. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten bolts. They're all the same length. They're all the same length. Oh, so it's we're on a one, two, five. They're not. Ah. Oh. So you've seen the, have you seen the cardboard trip trick I used to do, Lemon? Yes, I make sense now. Yes. You put a picture of a, you just draw an oval on a piece of cardboard, put all the screws in in the position you take them out of. Ah, but on the three hundred. Because these are all the same. Ah, three hundred. Same length. You don't need to. Right. So that's a lot easier. Good to know. Yeah. Oh, pardon me. Nerf lead here, so very important that one. Look, there. what is that? Nerf lead. So, where's it? Oh, so it just goes onto one of the bolts down there. Oh, so what do we have to do with that? Just put it back on once you. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> Make sure you don't finish it. Uh, forget it because you never start the bike. <laughs> Basically, don't forget to put everything back in. Don't, if you have spare parts after you finished, you didn't do a good job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do we have to do now? Uh, remove the clutch nut. The clutch nut. So, we're using this for it. Let's tighten. That was loud. Yeah, good. Remove the dipstick. Oh yeah, don't forget that. Because you never get off without the dipstick. There we go. Oh! Right. The weights are in here. Oh, inside this? Yes. At the moment, the belt is in the lowest position. Right. When that moves out through the weights, it moves the belt up in the air. So, the high speed, the belt is at the top of the, the plate. So, and it, it goes down lower inside your clutch because your clutch moves out. So it's like, low speed, clutch is, uh, belt small that end, large that end. High speed, belt large, belt small that end. Take the belt off now. Here comes the variator. Good. 
Oh, there you go. There's our rollers. The reason we're replacing the rollers is because I've had some rattling noise coming from there. And so hopefully Matt says that my rollers were a little bit too small. So I bought the right ones, see if that's going to eliminate the rattling noise. We shall find out, he says. Probably not. No in our luck. But then again, you know, it's, it's good to have new rollers in. Why do we actually need to replace rollers? Because they wear out. Don't forget yours now. Yours. I don't think yours was ever done in 20,000 miles. There you have it. One mil bigger. Sort the problem. One mil bigger. Whatsoever. Let's have a look. It's a new one, yeah? Yep. Put the old one in to see. Ah. <laughs> That's probably what caused the rattling noise, yeah? One mil and you get the... Now we always put them in. All facing the same way with the Melossi thing going clock, uh, anti-clockwise. So what we'll do now, we'll put the other six in this box. So, they don't get lost all over the garden. <laughs> That's fine. Cover. Did you put the washer in? No, the washer doesn't go there. Oh. So what you need to do, because this is a thread, this is the thread on the end of the crank. Right. Just push that right down. And then you need this. This is, uh, I forget what it's called now. The very to slide a bush. But give it, give it a clean. Because even though these transmissions have got no uh, oil in them, they get dusty. And that goes in down the Freddy ball. It's got the belts in the way. It goes in the Freddy ball and straight down the middle of the radiator. Because that's what creates the sliding surface. Right, put the belt back on. Yeah. Put the belt back on. Then you need is that washer. Which is just washer a back spacer. on. Which fits into the on the variator. Ah, yes. On the outer pulley. Right. Pulley's on. Two washers. Two washers back on. Not. Not. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle, the same way you treat your wife. Punch her on the head. <laughs> Good. Why is that? Because this thread here has a habit of going astray. So you lose the thread and then all of a sudden you've got no use of your bike. Right. Come back up now. Over the dipstick. There you go. Not hard, is it? Just put your bolts back in. But what I normally do, I do them like if I'm doing a wheel, I do a star pattern tightening sequence. Right. So, so one here. No, I'll just put them in. Just put them in for now. Okay, just, yeah, don't tighten them. <coughs> so just, you know. Okay, so all the bolts are in now. All the bolts are in, I'll explain the star pattern. Right. One bolt there. Tighten that up. Tight. Opposite. Opposite. Yeah. Tight. Then opposite again. Opposite again. Opposite again. Opposite again. Opposite. Opposite again. Opposite. Opposite again. Opposite. Opposite again. Four bolts done. If you have, if you have spare bolts lying around, you, you forgot something. <laughs> Do it again. Watch the video. Also, watch the video how we ride as well. Cold today, mate. I'm going to tighten the clutch nut up. Let's tighten the clutch nut up. But I'm not using by hand. I'm not using the windy gun. Why not? Because it can kill the thread. The back brake is secured by a brake clip. Done. Put the cover on. Yeah. And then the air filter can go back on. What you gotta do? Drop it down. Drop it down. Three volts. 
Nice and tight. Oh, couldn't get that much worse than that. <laughs> Filters back on. Here we go, last bit, I think, uh, side panel. There's two lugs there, be careful, because you can smash one. Right, and then there's... Clip. Well, that's satisfying. Plonk. Just putting the tin mill back on. The mill back on. To hold the uh, side panel. That's it. I could probably watch this video ten times, still wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> Ready for more rides now. Should should stop the rattle. No more rattling. Fixed it. We were right. The rollers were a little bit too small. And we replaced them with the proper ones. One millimeter bigger. They fit right in. <laughs> Perfect fit, sorted. So if you have the same problem, watch this video and, uh, and do exactly what we did. Well, Matt, if you have any parts uh, left after you finished your work, <laughs> you're screwed. <laughs> so that's it for today's video. Uh, thank you very much for being here at Vespa UK. Hope you enjoy the video. Please hit the sub button, helps us a lot. Please do. Hope everything goes well with your repairs and ride safely. I see you out there on the road, perhaps. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now. Say bye, yo. Bye, sorry.